Today we are going to discuss about the Mahadasha of Ketu. Now many people get very fearful when they hear that it is going to be the Dasha of Ketu. Sometimes the fear is more than the Dasha of Saturn. But let me tell you, it's only the fear. What are you going to encounter? What is going to be the result of Ketu's Mahadasha, which runs for seven years? See, we have to understand Ketu is in Vedic astrology known as a planet, which norm normally the period would be for where you can go get into isolation spirituality the period may lead you towards uh, you know a period of detachment going into exile you are no more interested into the material world so ketu is always known as a planet of moksha and hence you can expect this particular seven years now depending on your age now what if the it's a child of say about 10 years old what will you encounter at that particular age there is no question of detachment but yes you will definitely find a certain change in the child also when you are in your middle age or when you are at old age depending what is your age and you will see the result in the Dasha of seven years that is of Ketu. Now, when I talk about detachment, I talk about detachment from relationships. It's a detachment from your material world, from your friend or friend circle. And it is a period of nothingness so this particular period you will certainly find that yourself you are you are interested in occult science in meditation in yoga and such activities all of a sudden you will transform and you will see that your interest is developing towards these areas if Ketu happens to be in your first house, eighth house, or it is in your twelfth house. I have many a time spoken about this in my videos that Ketu in eighth and twelfth house talks about moksha. That particular horoscope of the person itself says that this is a horoscope where they say that there is no incarnation so this is your last birth it is believed so in, in in such cases if it is in your first house 8th house and 12th house which what i was talking about moksha along with moksha what you will see you will see that your psychic abilities are growing your intuitions are growing you will uh, you will start dreaming very vivid dreams unusual situations will come into your life now when i say unusual that does not mean i'm talking about any such event where there are accidents no it's a complete transformation of your personality many people feel that oh ketu's dasha is coming so it's not going to be wealth in our life that is wrong completely wrong the only difference is you will have enough wealth but you do not want to enjoy that wealth. That means you have wealth, but you do not feel like enjoying it. Because Ketu is putting you into the trance, into the period where you are introspecting. You are understanding life. Ketu will make you, make you like, you know, uh, a person who would think, what is this world? Where am I? What am I supposed to do? Because as you know, Ketu does not have a head. The head is Rahu. So it is all about thinking about yourself. Now, talking about wealth. 
See, Ketu, if it's in conjunction with the with any law, any planet which happens to be the lord of any of the Kendras. Now, to explain you the Kendras, it is the first house, fourth house, seventh house, and the tenth house. So, if it is in conjunction with lord of these houses, what will happen? You will see that if in such case, you will suddenly get promotion. Whichever profession you are working, you will see a promotion in your in your life. <clears throat> and similarly, if it happens, <clears throat> if Ketu happens to conjoin or get conjuncted with the Lord of Trikona, which means the first house, fifth house, and the ninth house, then what happens? <clears throat> you will get into deep. You will start having that greed. The, you will crave for deeper knowledge. You will go deeper in meditation. You may start doing yoga. You may want to know more about life. So Ketu in Kendra will give you certain uh, promotions. If Ketu is with the conjun with conjunction with the Lord of Trikod Bhava, it will put you into a period where you are craving for knowledge, deeper knowledge, and you want to understand life. Now, Ketu sits in whichever bhava in your horoscope. You will definitely have a detachment with that particular house. For example, in the last uh, one of my videos, I've spoken about it. That Ketu in the fifth house, you do not have that desire to have a baby. In the seventh house, you may not wanting to get married. Two reasons why you do not want to enjoy that particular house. Because in your past life, either you must have fulfilled all your desire, you had a very good life in, the, in the, this thing, or you must have either had a terrible experience in uh, like you know maybe with your children so, the, it, so it is showing in the fifth bhav if you had a very bad experience in your married life in the previous uh, birth you wouldn't want to bring back that experience again so you will be completely detached so friend this was all about Ketu's Madasha which runs for seven years if you are approaching or if you are running to the Madasha and if you are feeling a little isolated or detachment and all that, relax. This period will pass by. And also remember that Ketu's seven years uh, Dasha will have Antar Dasha of the other planets also. So you will enjoy those uh, results as well. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my video, like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.